morning ho shows banana eating slow talking quick walking jive tweeting your favorite morning show host the shows with the most is morning everybody My name is Adam Josh. This is the Morning Banana Show. My mama named me Adam Josh. Real quick, checking the live streams. We seem to be okay. All right. We're listening to the song Cindy, C-I-N-D-Y, by none other than me. Wrote that song a long time ago. I guess that's just where we're at these days. Oh, oh, something special for the morning banana show. Banana chips. Like, bananas are a portable snack. Banana chips. <sighs> Mind explosion. You know, and I love these things. Sesame Snaps, they are vegan. Camera one, camera two. They are vegan. Instantly boost your glucose levels. I got some uh, coffee here. Uh, yeah, so that was uh, Cindy by uh, Yours Truly, old song. Yeah, it's just that, that at that point now, I was tweeting about this yesterday. If you follow my Twitter account, it's uh, at adamjosh.com. I've periodically got YouTube claims and copyright claims over the years because I have included background music. And uh, full well knowing that one day um, that's not going to be tolerated because... Uh, I, I'm, do you, do you really think that the individual artists or their reps are crawling YouTube looking for every single, um, person or content creator that uses snippets of music? I don't think so. I think it's software, AI software that's, uh, listening. In a lot of cases, it listens in real time. Uh, for example, there was a Conor McGregor fight a long time ago that I was, uh, live streaming, and uh, I was getting banned in real time. Banned, I was getting my videos taken down in real time. So how is that possible? They have some crazy AI software in real time that is monitoring um, what I say, the content of what I'm saying, and uh, if I start to use somebody else's um, music. Like, they know in real time. In the case of the Conor McGregor fight that I was live streaming, it was... Um, the whole event was copywritten because they were obviously making money out of it. Trademark, copywritten, I have no idea, but it was locked down. I was using it without the permission of the, the company that put on the event. Okay, Boomer, I just come from a different era. I come from a different uh, reality where this stuff is just... I get that you want to make money from your from your art and from your music, but if you go to my website adamjosh.com, all the music there is free. Like that song Cindy, you could download it today. And I wrote that song. I, I played every instrument, did every part, wrote the lyrics, and you can be like, "Well, Adam, why don't you um, charge money for that song? Make some money." I don't want to. I'm not knocking the guys who do want to. It's just it's so petty sometimes. But anyway, <clears throat> here we are. You know, uh, morning banana show number 75. I'm already halfway done my banana. I guess I should slow down and start eating some banana chips. I thought instead of just skirting around it on this one, we would uh, go go balls deep into this uh, coronavirus is going to kill us all. This is a pretty good live map monitoring the uh, the cases later in the world. I've recommended this on my Twitter account before, but uh, uh, Global Cases by John Hopkins S-C-S, sorry, C-S-S-E. John Hopkins C-S-S-E. 
The website is uh, G I S A N D D A T A dot maps dot R C A R C G I S dot com. Anyway, we're looking at real time mainland China 80,000 confirmed cases, 91,000 total confirmed total deaths, 3,000 total recovered, 48,000. So a lot of people have recovered from this thing. I've heard uh, in the United States that it has an estimated 2% kill rate, 2% of 330 million um, is 3 million. A lot of people are going to die uh, if everybody in America got it. Uh, we're talking about flu-like symptoms, we're talking about uh, a man-made virus, just like the movie Contagion in 2011 predicted, which I've been on record saying I thought was uh, some front-loading for a future event, but uh, the movie Contagion predicted that it would be a chimera virus with uh, like Frankenstein gene editing, it looks like it has traces of the HIV virus and God knows what the hell is going to happen when somebody finally releases a vaccine. So, sleep easy tonight that 48,000 people have recovered from the virus with flu-like symptoms. Sleep easy tonight if you're not in China because uh, the majority of the people who have been affected by it are in China. In South Korea. South Korea is at 80, sorry, 5,186 confirmed cases. So, yes, I think it's going to spread further and get worse. When I'm pumping gas yesterday, I made sure to wash my hands after. I, I put the pump away. That's kind of where my head is at. I don't think that, um, I don't think yet is the time to, uh, freak out if you're living in Niagara, Canada. We do have a lot of tourists come from the States, by the way. Obviously, with the weakened immune, the people with weakened immune systems have more to be concerned about than somebody like me who is a vegan and healthy and doesn't eat meat. The young, young and people with weakened immune systems, just like with the flu, except this is a, I mean, if you got the coronavirus, what's it, what would it be like to know that you have a man-made bioweapon virus? That's got a, that's got a F with you, right? I would think so. So, that being said. That being said, keep in mind when you're busy looking at ground level, peer to peer transmission, when we're so busy looking at each other as the cause of all this uh, global pandemic of the coronavirus, keep in mind to look up every once in a while and see the contrails and chemtrails being left over your head in your skies every single day by uh, aircraft. The reality is weather modification was used in Vietnam. Ben Livingston is the quote-unquote father of um, weather weapons. You can look him up online, Ben Livingston. They were using cloud seeding, DDT weather weapons years and years ago, before we were born. I've been monitoring chemtrails since 2000 and uh, six with my own eyes. Started talking about it in 2008. I'm on record. Anybody can find chemtrail videos out from me. One of my videos that had a copyright claim on it was uh, the video explanation for the blog that I wrote called um, Kooky Over Chemtrails, uh, the Adam Josh Oral Blog number 55. So I did another series a while ago called an Adam Josh Oral Brog. 
which, which was a completely different show than the one you're watching right now, which is called The Morning Banana Show, number 75. So at least of all, you could say that I'm committed to the things I do, of at least until about 100 episodes. <laughs> so we're at 75 now for The Morning Banana Show. So, chemtrails are real, chemtrails are a thing, I don't care if you disagree with me, I know that I'm right. You're wrong if you disagree with me, not the other way around. Yes, condensation is a thing. Yes, propeller planes are a thing. <laughs> There's a propeller, pro propeller planes can fly through the sky magically, right? And they have exhaust, right? Propeller planes. You can see, just like I can, jets going over your head that don't leave any trails, and then another jet coming beside it and leaving a giant persistent contrail. And then you can see uh, certain jets that leave condensation trails that evaporate. Do you seriously think that it's all because they're at different elevations? No. Although, I'm not against the theory of persistent contrails. Don't get me wrong. I've seen, like, cloud-making machines. When you look at the top of smokestacks of uh, buildings, and see how they persistently make clouds as it rises up. So I'm not against that theory. I'm just saying, like, you have to be more open-minded than that, than saying all vapor trails out of airplanes are that, because it's just not true. You can see on, off, on, off. In my videos from 2008, on, off, on, off. Chemtrails. Flying around a plane. Turn a button on, turn a button off. Anyway. Chemtrails are real. Look up What in the World Are They Spraying, the documentary, and then Why in the World Are They Spraying It, two documentaries. You're welcome. So the question is, in times like this of global pandemic, you look at China and they're spraying this alcohol disinfectant spray on everybody makes you wonder what they're spraying on us from the sky. And could the virus actually be being sprayed on us from the sky? Like cockroaches that need to be killed. That is called the chilling effect, that feeling that you have, the cold chill up your spine. But that's always been the reality. It's always been the reality, the real reality, that there's poison in the tap water. It's been the real reality that Big Pharma is lying to you. This is the reality, like welcome to the reality, that at any given moment we could have neurotoxins or uh, global killers sprayed on us from the sky. That has been the reality. We are being held in that gun to our head back to the wall, get biohazard tattoos on your forearms. This is the reality that we're in. I don't know if you knew that or not, but welcome to this reality. We are all going to die. So, you need to process that. We may not all die from the coronavirus, but we are definitely, 100% of us, all going to die. 10 out, of ten, 10 out of 10 people die. What else can I say? Obviously, I don't want my kids to get sick. We think about, you know, at what point do you take them out of school? These are the thoughts that we have. My mom on Sunday was telling me, you know, she's worried because she's watching TV all the time, and I'm telling her, Mom, you don't even leave your house. You're indoors all the time. You've already self-quarantined. And uh, she says, well, I order a lot of Chinese food. <laughs> so I said, if you're concerned about that, then stop ordering Chinese food. All right, everybody. What an appropriate song. Let's listen to the song Kill Switch. 
I wrote this song too. Copyright people who monitor my uh, videos. The lyrics are, I've got the kill switch in my hand to see the ocean and the land all at once. It's all away. All at once I've left this place. I'm blowing it all away. It's all away. All at once we've left this place. I'm blowing it all away. I can't wait. To see your face. Incinerate. Anyway. That's been the Morning Banana Show number 75. Sorry I didn't have uh, much more cheerier information. But I mean. Maybe some of you need a reality check. Some of you need a reality check that this has been the world that we're living in. This has been the world that you're having kids in. This has been the world that you've been going to work in. This uh, Maybe you've been in some sort of cognitive dissonance. But the reality is that, uh, yeah, we've been being held hostage. We've been being held in arrested development. We are being um, minded by the government, govern mind. We are being controlled. This is the reality. You're, you're, if you feel the chilling effect, it's because you're, you know, you're waking up to the reality that, yeah, they are spraying things over top of us. They are putting chemicals in our tap water. Um, yeah, this is the reality. Welcome to the reality. I've lived in this reality the bulk of my life. It's better to be awake in a way or at least know these things. I met a friend yesterday by accident. I was driving in the city of Welland. I'm about to turn left. I saw a car accident in front of me with between a truck and a car. Right in front of me. Car accident right in front of me. The two people involved right in front of me. I see a guy get out on the road and start looking at the other guy's damage and they're talking to each other and I'm like, that's my buddy. I pulled over and we chatted, brought him to uh, the restaurant in Welland and we had lunch. It's good to catch up with him, but like I literally met an old friend yesterday by accident. Ha! Ah, things are weird. Follow me on Twitter at AdamJosh.com. The website is AdamJosh.com. Take care of yourselves, everybody.